You know, there's so many factors that going into considering a clinical trial for someone and uh, accessibility is always the number one thing on our list. And part of what the work that we want to do uh, and through conferences like this, as well as our own research into elderly patients, is to put some of the power, or as much of the power as possible, into the people's hands. I mean, we're in a time where people do so much research on their conditions and what are the, opportuni or the opportunities available for them on clinical trials, even before they come to a physician's office. So we want that same level of empowerment for patients who are 65 and above so that they participate in that conversation with their doctor. If need be, they can initiate it as well. You know, what about these clinical trials that are out there or specific ones that are in the area? The um, Registry of Clinical Trials, clinicaltrials.gov, is an open site. Anybody can go on there and put in their cancer information and where they're located in the country to see what trials are available there. So there, we want as many of the um, participants in the conversation to be as educated as possible so that they're advocates for themselves. So that includes educating our, our, all of our colleagues on how well people uh, over 65 do on these trials and the patients themselves who may say, oh, I don't know, it's a clinical trial, it's so experimental, and you know, all the biases that are inherent that go with participating on a study, a trial, yeah.